there's an expectancy. So it's expecting people are perhaps don't quite know what's going to happen, how the day is going to look, but there's an excitement and a sense of privilege of just being here in this amazing place. So I think it's great. With the Olympics, it felt like it gave Great Britain a sense of confidence, of joy, and I hope today in some small way this might give the church a fresh confidence that we can make a difference. God is on the move, that God has a plan for this nation, and uh, that's what I'm excited about, and that's what I'm believing for. You know, I think prayer is essential. I mean, I start by saying I don't feel I'm very good at it. I'm constantly trying to grow in it, but I think prayer is ultimately it's, it's relationship. It's time to connect with God, to communicate with Him, to try and allow space for my mind and my heart to realign around His will, His purposes. So I think if we're passionate about making a difference, then prayer has to be at the very heart of all that we do, all that we are, and we kid ourselves if we think we can have an impact uh, without praying, because otherwise we think, well, we're going to do it all in our own strength. And in prayer, for me, it reminds me that without God, I have nothing, and with Him, we can see all things happen. I'd say two things. One would be keep it simple. Don't try and sort of fast for 40 days for your first thing. Just, you know, a couple of minutes a day, just pray. Maybe get a little list of things you'd like to pray into. So keep it simple. And then the second thing I think is be creative. You know, we don't have to sort of close our hands, kneel by our beds to pray. I find it helpful to go for a walk, to listen to music, sometimes to sit down, to have prayer lists, to pray with friends. Um, all of these things, to pray out the Psalms, all of these things can just help us grow in our prayer life.